I see that Yolanda's gone. She she ended up saying the wrong things and she got booted. Did you watch the Tabo Best documentary? Someone is one million rand richer. Yeah. There's an Kabi movie actually on Netflix. Trash. Chris Axel, before we read his stats, would you... What brand can you think he can partner with? I think our attention span is around six seconds now. As Java released the visuals for Amakesh. Amakesh. Former President Tabo Mbeki. <laughs> he says Jacob Zuma destroyed South Africa's democracy. Liama stands a big chance of winning Big Brother Mzans. Introducing Color Space, a stock photo platform dedicated to showcasing images of black people. Whether you're a professional photographer or you just know your way around a smartphone, sign up, submit your photos, and start earning through your creativity. Visit www.colorspace.co.za. Attention, man. I was reading something around attention, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what were you reading around <laughs> attention? No, it's just... Um, the importance of attention in, in, in the advertising world, like it's, it's seen as a currency right now, right? Att- attention is a currency in advertising. Because yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's what you want from people. You want their attention. For sure, yeah. Is, are you saying this is with everyone? The, yeah, you want people, when you put out a video, you want their attention because you want them to watch the video. I okay. get. But there's, there's, there's a path to advertising and success in the online world, especially when it comes to attention. What are they saying? I mean, I know the previous rule was like uh, about three seconds or something like that. So, but cool man, attention span. I think our attention span is around six seconds now. Yeah. It, it keeps shrinking so because it's of all, in, this, all these things that we are consuming at the same time. Yeah, I, I, I truly believe that. And the reason why I say that is um, I watch people around me, they'll be on their phone while there's a movie on. They'll exactly. put on the latest movie that exactly. just came out, but they'll be on their phone too. But we are overcomplicating it for ourselves because you're consuming content on TV. Now you want to consume something else while you're consuming that. Yeah, it you is understand? quite a lot. Nah? So, so, Laba Kulman Ogoti, you need to avoid the skip, uh, which is, or scrolling. First, that's how you do it. And then you need to keep them looking. Right. They need to keep looking at whatever it is, which is a video in this case. And then you need to make them feel something in that same process. And then lastly, you need to uh, leave um, branded memories. So something that will make them think about your brand again and again and again. It's like that Nando's ad that you shared with me. Yeah. Similar thing. You avoid you avoid skipping because of the, the placement of that white man in that black family. In yeah, the setting, sure. and then yeah, he comes yeah. speaking broken Zulu. You're like, whoa! <laughs> First, you avoid skipping, yeah, right, yeah. and you keep them looking because they're like, I want to know what he's gonna do next. But isn't like shock quite a thing that people use also? Like, um... shock is, but they don't sustain it. Okay. That's the other thing. Ugoti. Most people get it right. Yes, they'll shock me. I'll watch the video for the first two seconds. And then after Lapo, it's, it's nothing to do with that shock. It's something yeah. else. Like clickbaity at the yeah, end of the day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, no, makes sense. Yeah. So there's two ways that you can sustain that. It's, it's through intrigue because people want to know what's going to happen after and after and after until the end. Yeah. And with humor. So in that process, while you keep them waiting, make them laugh. Hmm. And then that's where you see those branded, uh, branded memories that they'll keep remembering. For sure, yeah. yeah. So, Pinchami, we already know about like um, attention span. Yeah, and, uh, mm. um, that is bad already. Generally, that like people don't really focus on on content. things quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. content. I mean, yeah. there's so much content out there generally that like sure. it's so hard to focus. And that's the other thing that I talk about too. And I think as a content creator, anybody that's creating content right now, it's very important to go to who created the content that's going to be thumb stopping. Yes, and not, it has not, to be. And not necessarily like that clickbaity kind of stuff because what happens is people stay on for two seconds and then they don't stay on for three seconds. So that's a bit, yeah. Zooms, I think, I think you are spot, I don't think actually, you are spot on, right? Because Nano must cool my attention. And it's exactly that. When you, that, th- uh, what is it? Thumb stopping. Thumb stopping power. It's actually attention because that means you have someone's attention, right? Sure, yeah, but yeah, yeah. before school manga attention, we need to distinguish these two types of attention. Yes. There's passive attention and then there's active attention. 
Okay. Right? And uh, just just to give you a breakdown and a definition, your passive attention. So passive attention refers to the unconscious or automatic allocation of attention to stimuli in, in the environment. Right. Okay. Yeah. And some of the characteristics as a corner, uh, the type of attention that uh, occurs without uh, intentional effort. Yeah. Or uh, conscious control. Right. It is driven by external stimuli that uh, captures the individual's attention involuntary. So it's involuntary. And and just an example, yeah, corner uh, of of passive attention. If if you hear a sudden loud noise, right. Your, your passive attention will be automatically directed towards um, towards the source of the noise without you actively deciding to pay attention to it. So mm. that's passive. Okay. It's involuntary. It catches your attention. Then you're like, okay, you move that looks on interesting. with life. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But then there's active. Active okay. is what you want as a brand. You want sure. people to, to watch your video and be active while watching your video. And by active, I don't mean they should watch watch your video on the phone and watch a movie on Netflix. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. So the definition for active active attention uh, involves intentional and and conscious focus on on specific stimuli or ta- tasks, right? Yeah. And then just looking at the different characteristics, this type of attention is under voluntary control, and individuals actively choose. Uh, where to direct their attention. It requires um, cognitive effort and is often associated with tasks that demand concentration. Yeah. You understand? So yeah. just to give you a quick example, Lea Leo, uh, when you're reading a book, you are actively focused. Sure, yeah. Uh, solving a complex maths problem, listening to a lecture or activities that require active attention. Because you need to uh, consciously focus your mental resources on the task at hand. So that's active. That's active. Okay. And that's what everyone wants ideally. As a brand, that's what, that's what you want, right? As a brand, I think that will drive more, more sales. If people are uh, actively uh, paying attention to, to, to your ad, whether you're selling to them or you're giving them a, a, a description of a product. That's why with certain products, some people will buy it. It's because it hit the, it hit the active attention. I'll call it a nerve for a lack of better word. <laughs> yeah. It hit that nerve and now they are into that product. So it answered a specific problem that they, were, that they are having. All for the sure. products that are out there speak to a certain problem. But as in your words, we don't even hear it. Yeah, because yeah, we're yeah, just yeah, passively yeah. listening. Because you probably don't like the visuals, which Eesh. which is a big thing. A big you thing, are in yeah. the visual space, and you understand that pictures can say a thousand words. Imagine a video. Yeah, I definitely understand what you mean. But the other thing is making people pay pay for content. Because I'm seeing like some creators are making you pay, and they're creating exclusive communities to get the exclusive content. Yeah. Because what's happening now, there is quite a lot of content going out there that you're right. You you hardly get um, people really uh, engaging. It might even be good content, you know. Yeah. Because now it's kind of hard to to like, um, what do you call this to to, to demystify what is good content. You know, sure, like sure. You, I could create the same video that got a million a billion views, and sure. then I don't get a billion views. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So some people are actually making you pay for the stuff, and I think that's a conversation that we can open up for another time. Yeah. But I think I think you're right. It's very subjective. Sorry, I know we're derailing. We should be talking yeah. about trending topics <laughs> now. But you you you're very right, Malcolm Mangale. Your point, Ugoti. You you can't really distinguish between good and bad content, and and it's. I think it's solely because it's subjective. For What's sure, good yeah. for you is, could not be great for me. You understand? You watch golf content always. You understand? That's that's good for you. I, I'm starting to get into it actually because I'm learning a thing or two. But I prefer reading whatever books that I read. Yeah. That's good content for me. For but sure, if I was to yeah. share that with someone, they'll be like, "Yo, that's boring, chief." <laughs> yeah, leave me alone. In this yeah, one. yeah, that's so true. Uh, welcome to episode 60 of Spaza Tokum Shuti over hey, Shuti is hey, of course in now, the okay? building. We are church and, uh, Yeah, we uh, are church no? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How are you, bro? I'm good, man. How are you doing? I'm good. I see you ever again. A uh, lot of uh, stats and opinion this week. A very, op- uh, op- what is it? It's a tongue twister. Opinionated, is it? Yes. Yeah, I'm very opinionated. 
I think uh, it's that hike that you took. It's the hike, it made, man. It, it was some good clarity. for 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 my for my soul. Yeah, it was good for everything. Actually, I went on a solo hike. For those that don't know, um, can you share the location? I know there's a thing about people not sharing locations. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. I'm I'm open to that. It's not like they're gonna see me again this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Kingskloof. I went to Kingskloof. It was recommended by Akona. Akona that was on the show talking about digital yes. nomads. Yes, yeah. yeah she you recommended definitely the spot. Definitely check out the episode. Um, dope spot, man. She she even put out a list with all the hiking trails in Joburg. Uh, I'll try get the link. Maybe we'll put it in the description for people that want to go hiking. For sure. Yeah, yeah. That'd be dope. Uh, I think we should definitely do that. And then quickly, uh, what's happening with Tabo Mpeg? Hey. Opera Tabo, um, he was at, at UNISA, if I'm not mistaken. He mm. was giving a, a, he was delivering a, Something. a, a I can't call it a keynote, a, a speech <laughs> of some sort. Yeah, yeah. And it happened good. each and every sentence, Yaga Tabo. Former President yes, Tabo, yes, Tabo Mbeki, Tibos. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> Tibos. <laughs> Aye, that's former President. Oh, oh, Baba, yeah, yeah, former. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, Pegi, yeah, Baba, Baba, Pegi, Baba, Baba, very respectful man. Part of the, uh, part of part of the MK before, so as yeah. darling, yeah. yeah, he doesn't, yeah. So he's not like the other guys we're going to joke about. Ooh, For sure. Former President Tabo Mbeki. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he says Jacob Zuma destroyed South Africa's democracy. Interesting. Weren't they all together in this ship at some point? Uh, but they don't see eye to eye. That's okay. the other thing. But they don't see eye to eye. Uh, Tabombeg is all about the greater good of, of, of the ANC and what they do for the country. We understand. He's Whereas, like a, um, he's a bit of a weird-ish politician, to be honest. Cause I think we call him weird because he doesn't loot. I well, <laughs> from what we do, well, from what we haven't from seen, from what we know, his term yes. was also short, so we didn't really get that much short. To nah, people to, were to too excited that. about Mandela, okay. so that's why when Tabon Beggy came through, it was like he was Still, like, filling who, in like, who are you? Yeah, yeah, like, who are you? Yeah. Yo, we just Tata just left. <laughs> who are you, homie? But people started loving Tabon Beggy, I think, after Jacob Zumaseva, his second term, they okay. were like, damn, we actually had it good with that guy, yeah, yeah, for sure. But now, but now. Like any relationship, man. You only see the good when they're gone. When they're gone, that's so true, man. What were you saying about Utabon Pegavel? With everything that he was saying, because every time when he delivers a speech, the Jacob, uh, Jacob Zuma, that always sees, uh, 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 sees a part in that speech. For sure, we yeah. So he says something about him, you're saying? Yes, because I think he's not a fan of how he's, um, he's, he's, he's running politics. Okay. He's he's not a fan. Like he's not a fan at all. And that has led to him to be detached from the ANC from the longest time. Okay, yeah. I've actually known of that one that he's been detached. Mm. Interesting one. I mean, I also see that uh, of course in the conversation Tabon Peggy and Jacob Zuma. Yeah. Uh, Jacob Zuma seems to be featuring quite a lot, especially with the MK being like the third biggest party mm-hmm. or potentially being mm-hmm. the biggest the third biggest party in the country. And then we see Old Trafford, uh, oh. which is amazing news for me. I think you know more than yeah. me. What is Old Trafford? Who's Old Trafford? Old Trafford is... Um, old Mutual. No, I know Old Mutual. <laughs> They've <Mutual>. changed. <laughs> They've changed. I actually thought it was Old Mutual. <laughs> but no, Old Trafford is actually the stadium of the biggest club in the world, Manchester United. And the reason why that's up there in the topics is because people like me were tweeting, this is Old Trafford, this is Old Trafford. On, the, on Sunday, we played uh, Liverpool in the FA Cup. And we won 4-3. What a brilliant goal oh. by uh, Ahmad uh, Diallo. I think, yeah, Ahmad Diallo, yeah, he scored the winning Did, goal. Didn't Liverpool, like, just win a final? I don't know what final, like a week or two weeks back? No, 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 no. they didn't win any final. They haven't been playing any cup finals as far as I know. No, but didn't they beat, like, game. Man City or something? No, it was just probably a big game. That's oh, okay. It. Yeah, it was just a big game between the two of them. But now this is the FAK, FA Cup, which is... <laughs> this is the series. Yeah, one. No, oh. well, not really. This is not the Champions League, but this is, like, the... Um, semi serious yeah semi serious okay. trophy arsenal okay. the one that brag about it because they always win it so. ah ah no we'll see we'll see yeah for sure and then what else is happening in the news i see that yolanda's gone yolanda is gone man hey yolanda was she said some weird things i think i want to categorize her uh, in the same group as uh, bravo bravo yeah. bravo b was yes. it bravo yeah, b yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. she was also saying those kind of things like i would rate this guy like she used the r word you really? know yeah and then peeps were not happy 
But Twitter peeps were like, no, they sabotaged her and this, that. People had to go snitch. But if it comes from a girl, it doesn't make it any lighter. It's still wrong. Yeah, it's still wrong. I think Big Brother did the right thing by actually not even condoning that conversation one bit. Yeah. Because in truth, you know, um, it is a good example. Like one person can't say it and then the other one can't. You know I think I mean? like, before Bang and Big Brother, right, there must be a church tunnel. They must pray for them and then they get into the house. But as the news then do I think like why are you talking about raping someone? Is that like you It's you, not cool, bro. You even feel the itch to say it live on TV? It's it's not cool. That like is it is not cool. Whether you're a boy, girl, they, what, it is not cool. Not at all. But anyway, Yolanda is gone. She is out the house. That's part of the news that has been trending quite a lot, especially knowing that Big Brother is a huge yeah. uh, platform. What else has been happening? Uh, you know me, I don't watch soccer, right? Yeah. But I was watching uh, Orlando Pirates and Hungry Lions. Yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah I got yeah. an invite that's to... That's the Netbank Cup, right? Uh, that's the Netbank Cup, yes. I got an invite to the fan house, actually. Yeah. The Yaruna house. Beautiful crib. Uh, and I think they, there's a game that they, they run on the app. So if you want to be invited to that house, there's like daily games that you need to be part of. Of course, you need to get an account with them, but it's worth it because you stand a chance to win uh, a big prize every week. Every week, there's prizes. Yeah, it Whether looked, a it TV, dope, a fridge, eh? or 200,000. Yeah, and this is all part of the Nenpeng Cup. Yep. So you looked so relaxed eh? You had a big screen, you had yeah. your feet up. It was a relaxing yeah. evening. Pool there, Pool there yeah. drinks. Huh? So it's Food. called the Netbank House, right? Yeah, it's called the Netbank House. I think, yeah, just more information around that. Maybe you can check out the Netbank website or you can go to, to the um, to the Netbank Cup app. Yeah. So the Netbank Cup website or the Netbank Cup app. You'll find out more. You can participate in that and you can also meet me. <laughs> 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 at the <laughs> house that's if i get invited again you yeah, know that's if you get invited again <laughs> we get invited i just can't make it guys, yeah it uh, was too busy man no i just thought of some you know family stuff you know how it is but i believe it was definitely nice um so yeah i think that's what happened during the week let's let's talk about the stats i mean when the numbers at, yeah the people when it looks at the people that tweeted last week we're seeing uh, 6.8 million people that Oof. tweeted which is just like a one percent increase okay that's dope and then when you look at the authors, uh, we're looking at 117,000, which is a 1% decrease mm. from the previous It's all about week. the ones, bro. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's just one, one up, one down. <laughs> and this is the previous week, by the way, guys. And when, when you look at the negative sentiment, we are seeing a 2% a decrease on the negative, which is yeah. And then on the positive, we've got a 5% increase, which is even better. So we I think it's because of men you winning. Men you are that 5%. I'm that better, is yeah. just you. <laughs> that definitely had to be me. Yeah. Alone. That definitely is me just alone, definitely. Um, but yeah, and then well, what are the negative word clouds saying? Uh, so in the negative word cloud, we have Yolanda. I think yeah. you've touched on the Yolanda situation yeah, and yeah, what yeah. she said in the house. The ANC is there. Um, there was a, in KZN again, the prime minister of Amazulu was saying something, right? The prime minister of Amazulu? Yes, Amazulu, the, 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 people, the, the, football the club. kinder. Okay. The kingdom, not oh. not the football club. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Just for some clarity, Amazulu kingdom. Okay. Where, uh, who's, who's Kings Amazulu? Yes. I think the Kings not, not Kings Wellington. Miss Miss Suzulu. Okay. Miss Suzulu. Yeah. Yes. The the new king. The, okay. the screw screw yes, king. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. Sorry, not the screw screw. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> king. king. Yeah, 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 yeah. The king, man. Yeah. The king. The king himself. The prime minister was there saying something about the ANC, and then U Utuma. Sboniso, if I'm not mistaken, Dumas Boniso, he's the chairperson at ANC, a KZN. Yeah. He actually grabbed the mic and said, this event is not about what you are trying to push and all those kind of things. I'm, um, I'm about to very angry. Very, I'm saying very angry because they were they retaliated. They were even singing those songs. Uh -huh. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And okay. they said so they, they, they couldn't angry. raise their weapons in front of the king. Mm -hmm. So if it wasn't for the king, the guy was going to get a beating of his life. But then the guy responded to say, in the South African constitution, we don't recognize a prime minister. So there's no prime minister. So the prime minister can't be above the government. Basically, that's what he's saying. Which and he's... Fair. That's true. It's fair, but they are campaigning. Recognized. They are campaigning right now. You, you can be right all you want, but you are campaigning. Campaigning for to be prime minister of... No, 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 no. I'm saying the ANC is campaigning course, in the KZN. Yeah, yeah, they sure, need yeah. the kingdom's buy-in. 
Sure, and yeah. I think uh, MK went Long there before, way before. Yeah. Yeah, I, didn't, I, I don't even think they went there. I think it was just a, an automatic. Uh, exactly to one. to lean towards that. For but sure, yeah. Yeah, I think ooh, ooh, the chairperson who Duma Duma actually digged a, a deeper grave for the ANC in the KZN, and he just put the last nail on the coffin. Yeah, okay, so that's on a negative word, cloud. I yeah. see Yolanda is obviously on here, like we, like we said. Of course, of what she did. All Mutual is still here because it's still a trending story. Sure. I believe the one and was, EFF um, also there. Sorry, yeah, I believe the, the All Mutual case was solved for that one lady, but obviously more people are still crying about um, what they need to be talked about. And then, like you said, EFF and Ekuruleni are there. Mm. And when we look at the positive word cloud, it's quite busy, quite a lot. I mean, we're seeing happy as a big word on here. Mm-hmm. And God. then we're seeing God, God is here. I see Yolanda also, Yolanda Munyai comes up. So I know Yolanda is love, bro. Yeah, for sure. She's love. For sure, yeah. And then what else is on your success? Success is there. Congratulations. Beautiful. Why am Beautiful. I seeing a Hebrew word on you, like with Hebrew writing on you? Hey, man, that means the he- hashtag hijackers are now also from those parts of the world. It must, well, it must be interesting. Or maybe yeah. it's the shop owners communicating and we don't <laughs> see. Because eh? I see two of them. In yeah, there's yeah. two. That's actually interesting. I see cute, I see kind, I see heart, mm. nice. So yeah, those are the positive word cloud from last week. It is quite busy. So you guys are saying quite a lot of things. And there is so, so much that we could talk about. But in the sake of time, we're just going to summar- summarize it for you guys. And if you do want a full version of it, please make sure you get a hold of us. We can just give you maybe a fuller version of this report that we're talking about yeah. here. And then when you come to the busiest day and the busiest hour, what's that looking like? Uh, so the busiest day last week, we have uh, Sunday, the 17th of March, with just over a million tweets yeah. uh, going out just on that one day. Uh, there's other runner-ups days. Like, it's, it's not that far off. You For know sure, what I'm saying? Yeah, the yeah, runner-up yeah. days are probably like 15K tweets behind. It's not that much. Uh, sure. That was Sunday, and some of the conversations. It was around uh, Bibi Mzansi, uh, Yolanda again. Uh, I think people were missing Yolanda voting, voting in Bibi Mzansi. There's people that I see there. Money, 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 money. <laughs> I see Russia is there because Russia's Putin there. has been. Um, he he might be running his. Yo, it ten years ago, Gile. He's been president since the year two thousand. As far as I We're can remember, in twenty twenty four, twenty four years. So it's for another. What what is it? Four years, isn't it? For another four. It's what is it? It's a term. Tre- term another yeah. term. Yeah. Yes, he's been elected to be a president for another term. Apparently, they cannot elect him. I mean, if you like, if you go against him, then. <laughs> you know what it is, man. You know man. what it is. You in Russia, Moscow, yeah. baby. <laughs> cold, cold, cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing uh, Ramaphosa is also coming up on here. Cyril Ramaphosa, our president, of course. Our president, Cyril uh, Ramaphosa. Like we said, in, ele- in elections, is coming up a lot. <laughs> and then electricity <laughs> regulation. <laughs> Sorry, Zooms, I have to laugh because you touched on Ramaphosa, but you didn't say what uh, the the summary is. Oh, no, I just, I just thought that we could actually go brush through it. But I see what you mean, yeah. yeah, the summary. So basically what, so there's Iris. Iris is a brand watch AI, which is um, uh, 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 a partnership between brand watch and chat GPT, right? So it summarizes some of the conversations for us. And when it touched on Cyril Ramaphosa, Cyril, President Cyril Ramaphosa actually believes uh, that the opposition parties lack original ideas and don't bring new proposals to the table. <laughs> ah, I I didn't, that I, is so funny. I think that's why I probably don't want to read it because I think it's just so Ramaphosa. It's politics. It's just like, man, this is dead stuff because, yes, uh, why are they doing this to us? I mean, we know Sir Ramaphosa doesn't deliver anything himself. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if he believes people are lacking original ideas, these guys are still giving out t-shirts. Bro, that's why it's so funny for me. It's so ironic that he says that out of all people. You can't be from the ANC and say something about lacking ideas. Uh, about talking about other parties. Dude. Yeah, no, the other parties are doing really, really well. Yep. Some ideas. Yep. And they might not be in yep. parliament, but they're doing really, really well. All right, bro. Uh, so we're seeing that what are the busiest times? I see that in the morning it's 11 a.m. Yeah, it has changed a bit a. now. Yeah. yeah, and then in the evening we're seeing 8 p.m. and 7, 7 p.m. being the biggest times, yeah. the busiest times. Yeah, for sure. And that is just last week, guys. I mean, the times keep changing quite a lot, but it is quite important to know when the busiest busiest time is if you actually want to interact on mm-hmm. the X platform. 
Or um, you want the highest engagement for your posts for and stuff. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, exactly. I know that individually we all can look at when uh, is it busy for you, but I think it's important to know when the whole of Twitter is actually sure. around uh, in South Africa waiting to engage with you. So yeah, let's jump on to the trending topics, bro. Uh, at number five, we see hashtag Malema for president. <laughs> I saw this one coming. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I didn't see this trending. Like yeah. I, I did not see it trending, and it's part of the top five biggest hashtags of last week. Maybe I was not as active on Twitter last week, but I'm always there. Or did you see a trend? Maybe zooms. I didn't even see it <laughs> coming, but I'm not gonna lie. I've heard quite a few people talk about Malema for president, Malema uh -huh. for president. So I sort of saw it. Okay, you saw it coming. Yeah, okay. to some degree. Okay. Because last week we talked, or a few weeks back, we talked about him. He was in a suit and like a lot of people were like, He's looking oh, like a president. president. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, president. okay. I think it's still closely linked to that. Maybe it's that conversation that spilled over from, from the previous week. I uh, think so, definitely, yeah. Malema for president got 12,000 mentions and 232 million impressions. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Mm -hmm. And then at number four, we got hashtag Daily Loto with 18,000 mentions and 393 million impressions. What's happening, bro? Did somebody win? Uh, Daily Loto, there's a campaign that they are currently running. Hence, hence the, um, the high engagement of the hashtag, right? There's actually two hashtags that they went out with last week. So Daily Loto is one of them. They've been pu pushing it zooms hard, <laughs> hard, oh. hard, hard. People are engaging. I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. It works for the brands like this. And the other one is, um, what's this? Every, every day, ki, every day, ki, ki win. Is that one of the hashtags? Yeah, I think so, man. It's wait, wait. Let me just double check because I didn't write it down, but it was there. Yes, the other one is every day, ki pay day. Okay, yeah. so that's one of the hashtags. Yeah, that's one I of the hashtags. I see they're really, really doing well. I mean, whatever campaign you're doing, uh, check it out. It's trending at number four. Mm -hmm. That's a brand new entry on our trending hashtags. And then what is number three, bro? Oh, so, 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 resume. so it was a, it was a five-year anniversary for Daily Lotto, for the National Lottery. Okay. Uh, it was the National Lottery's fifth year anniversary. And I hope you've brought your winning ticket. So the jackpot just for the Daily Lotto was one million. Someone is one million rand richer. That is too dope, man. Uh, and we on I blew it next week. Next, just next week, yeah. <laughs> and we're seeing so many of those uh, stories. But anyway, let's go on to our number three. What is our number three? Right? Number three is Liama Pansi. Uh, I think Liama stands a big chance of winning Big Brother Zanz. Uh, sure. Because Yolanda was starting to overlap. Yolanda was getting up there. But I think with her chasing clout, she, she ended up saying the wrong things and she got booted. Unfortunately for her. So she got 28,000 mentions and 39, 35 million impressions. impressions. That is hashtag Liam Apanza coming yep. in at number three. In number three, three, three. Did and we give the daily two, lotto numbers, actually? I, we okay. definitely did, yeah. Perfect. And then at number two, who do we have? Uh, Yolanda Moyani. Mo, yeah, Moyani. Mo, mo, hashtag mo, Yolanda Moyani. So I think mo, it's important for us to mo, say the hashtag mo, because... When people actually engage with this, we want them they to use, use the, the hashtag. hashtag. So yeah. it's important for us to actually... And that's uh, for the fans, right? Yeah. And uh, I think, put it to the test, guys. Tweet something and use that hashtag. Say something positive about Yolanda. Maybe put hearts and hashtag Yolanda more. It will be here on the screen for if sure, I put yeah. her SNM. I'm so sorry to Amad For sure. Uh, but you'll see the engagement you'll get immediately. Immediately. Definitely from those hashtags. So at number two, hashtag Yolanda Monyai with 30K mentions and 50 million impressions. And now number one hasn't changed at all. Hashtag oh, 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 Big Brother Mzansi. Yeah, hashtag BB uh, Mzansi with 257 mentions and 1 billion impressions. Mm. Nothing new. I don't think I actually want to even delve into Big Brother. I do know that it's getting to like the top uh, few people. Uh, I think next week, next week, next week is the grand finale, if I'm not mistaken. It's For on the sure. 31st. Is it the week after? It must week be after. the week after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. do know that it's getting quite close. And then we did. Um, did you watch the Tower of Mystic documentary? No, bro. Are not you yet. Even interested? Not. Uh, I'm, I'm not Have a fan of those reviews? kind of things. I've just been seeing the the trailer on 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 TV. Like two weeks ago, you were so excited, bro. <laughs> what happened? I, I don't know, man. I'm like that, right? Yeah, with a lot of things, even with my trips and everything, I get excited before time. And when the okay. time comes, it's like ah, uh, yeah, I feel I like I'm back. Yeah, yeah. So I've been seeing some reviews online. I mean, people are just obviously they have their own. Um, 
reviews, but the one that I've been coming across quite a lot is the same thing that I was talking about. We, there's nothing new that we're going to know. Yeah. Uh, and if they reveal something new, it must be, it must be like something frivolous. Like mm. it's nothing that's going to help. So we've seen case. it all. In, if you had to follow the, if you followed the case, I think you would know all the information from okay. the court. Okay. Unless they start like adding some char- some characters mm. in there and some stories that actually don't exist, then that's why I was like, I don't see why this show should actually uh, be watched quite a lot. But anyway, uh, I thought I should actually bring it up that it is. So you out. wouldn't recommend it out of ten? I haven't seen it. So oh, I'm, you haven't I'm, seen I'm it. Oh, from the reviews. Yeah, from oh, just okay. people talking reviews. I did say that I'm not going to watch it. So I definitely okay. say I'm still not going to watch it. <laughs> uh, anyway, the people that are tweeting the most from last week, so the top tweeters, it hasn't changed much. No, um, it's not tweeters. People who have been mentioned. The most, sorry. Yes. So people that have been mentioned the most. And at number five, we've got at who the F is make with 16,000 mentions and 47 million impressions. Mm. Nothing new on there. And then at number five, we've got PB Mzansi. Number this four. Is the first time. Yeah. Number four. It's the first time they take them so much. I think it's because of the situation Yaga Yolanda. Yeah. A lot of people were actually complaining, why did Yolanda leave? Some were saying it's a good thing. So they were tagging Big Brother Mzansi so that they see their to responses. Say, do something. Yes. Interesting. That's why they're actually coming in at number four. So at Bibi Mzansi with 16,000 mentions and 43 million, million impressions. impressions. Yeah. And at number three is your fave. <laughs> Destiny Z yeah. uh, with 17,000 mentions and 101 million impressions. She's dope. Uh, she's dope. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'll reserve my comments. I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to her. She's actually quite dope. And the content she puts out is pretty relevant. Yeah. And number two, we've got uh, somebody also not a new, not nope. new to this spot. Nope. MDN News uh, with a double S with 19,000 mentions and 136 million impressions. And at number one is bo, 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 bo. the most toxic Chris heavyweight champion, Chris Excel. So can I ask you a question? With Chris X on the film really stats, would you what brand do you think you can partner? Sure. If there was a brand, uh let's see. Maybe Nando's? Uh, do you think Nando's wants to be associated with somebody who says No, I'm I'm looking at the thing? brand personality and yeah, looking I, at him. Even with everything he says. Do you think him working with a brand, which brand? That's Yo, I, nah, there's, he's not safe to work with brands. <laughs> <laughs> he's not safe enough to work with brands. I don't think, yeah, he would have to uh, realign his content, which would be the biggest mistake he would do because a lot of people follow him for, for the nonsense that he posts. For sure, yeah. So I was just wondering in my head, I mean, I know there's a lot of other kids that come into the uh, Ooh, social media space. I have a brand. Yeah, who is it? Who is it? <laughs> it's one of the government uh, offices. Whether the ANC, he could make a great <laughs> ANC ambassador. I think because <laughs> they all talk shit. Yeah, and never do anything <laughs> for sure. I don't know. I'd always find Chris says that like he posts, he talks about badly about women, about everything. everything. Probably even everything. about himself. If you yeah. look clearly enough, yeah, if you look close yeah, enough, probably, actually. I think it's self hate. Yeah. Him. But anyway, his was mentioned the most last week with twenty four thousand mentions. And 199 million impressions. That is Chris Excel at mm. number one, being mentioned the most he's in excelling. South Africa. This he's man is excelling. Hey, you can ask Chris. Chris. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely. <laughs> nobody, nobody loves Chris, but in this case, everybody loves Chris. <laughs> that is crazy. Crazy yeah. zooms. You, you talk about like working with brands and stuff like that. When I was looking at Destiny Z's tweets, right? Yes, the original tweets sometimes don't even get as much engagement as the wrap up tweet that she oh, has. Oh, yeah, that she does. Oh, yeah, definitely. She's definitely found a market that yep. works for her, uh, which is super, super, super dope, man. Um, out of the week, we said we got Nando's. Oof, out of the week, the new Nando's ad. My what G, does it say? My G, my G, that ad is, 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 is fire. I, I, I really enjoyed that ad. For um, relatives, strangers, yeah. and, rela- and all relative strangers yes it's for for relatives strangers or relatives strangers okay <laughs> so what are they sharing food There's some they're sharing members. food and it's like a, a black family you know black family not that we chill every night around mm. the table just to have food <laughs> but they were doing exactly that and it was takeaways it just happened with badly nandos and then they are yo they are cousin 
<laughs> that found out about that family on ancestors.ancestry.co.za uti am your 72 cousin from your mother's what 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 this, what this what, is, what this is a white man it comes in that's the white man that's the white man he comes in he's like yo his name is bo yeah bo but hi bo at hi hi <laughs> These chicken brands are just doing something amazing. It was chicken licking with their Valentines, Valentino. Yes, Let us Valentino, laugh. Yeah. Now Nando's is delivering. I'm, I I'm, definitely want to. I love that uh, Nando's advert. I checked it out a few times. I just can't explain it properly now. But I remember seeing it with Bo and with like yep. this couple inside the house. And Sh- shout like, out to the team that worked yeah, on that. For sure, uh, yeah, I know yeah, them yeah. very well. Oh, yeah? uh, shout, out, shout, out, shout out to all of them, man. Yeah. Uh, I know Siwe, my girl. She probably did something there. She's a nice. dope ass strategist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Umonde. Uh, the creative director i know i know they are somewhere there in the mix they're probably not the direct team that worked on it but they are part of the bigger team of course there's other agencies involved i just happen to know those guys very okay, close yeah, yeah yeah for sure i think you worked with them obviously yeah 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 nice one i mean that advert is actually too dope definitely check it out we will put a link below of the advert check it out for sure and that is nando's for ad of the week <laughs> And is there anything else for the week, Bijam? Ooh, for the week? Nah, mm. nah, 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 nah. I think we're going to have more stuff for this week. But I've been sharing quite a lot of things with you on 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 the X platform. <laughs> <laughs> Not on Twitter. <laughs> Not on Twitter, man. It's X now. Okay, for Facebook. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. you should re- refer to it. Not this is Octola. Yeah, you <laughs> definitely have. I mean, uh, there's quite a lot um, that's going on on the X platform generally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like we did talk about the big news on I want to say it's Yolanda because you know Big Brother is a big show. Uh, but there's quite a lot happening right now that's trending on Twitter. We're seeing that uh, hashtag FNB is trending right mm-hmm. now, a non-sponsored post. Yeah. EFF door-to-door, paint shop view raid. So again, EFF, we might come up in our stats next week. Sure, sure. We saw a bit of an incident on the airplane with a lady by the name of Shamiz. So I think they kicked out of an airplane. Oh, that's damn. Air. Uh, Java released the visuals for uh, Makesh. Makesh. Ooh. Dope, Man. dope. So That's amazing. like one of my favorite tracks on his album. Same here. Yeah. I, I couldn't stop looking at that video. Really, really amazing. And then um, I'm seeing Danzi, and I believe this is the guy that was. Um, Speaks on Danzi. He was part of this. Um, since I'm a year trial. Mm-hmm. What is he saying? Uh, so I'm reading MDNS News uh, in an alleged second convention by Bongani Danzi. According to, according to his statimo- sta- uh, testimony, Sifison duly contacted him for a job opportunity, which led to meeting in a hostel bedroom where they were briefed by Sifiso later. I mean, Spice Fiso. Later, Carlos and Togozisi Mapisa joined him. Togozisi contacted Kaylee Kumara to sign a, a readiness. Roles were assigned with Sfiso as the driver. So this guy is basically a driver now. And from what I am gathering, he wrote a statement saying that he's fearful of the other guys that he was accused with. He's oh, accused. Shit. And then recently, because they all hit man. Yeah, and then uh, and then uh, and then apparently now recently when they came to court, he shook all of the everybody's hands. So then you know the, that just caused a bit of a an Mister. eye. He yeah, yeah. To look, oh, this guy said he was scared of all of these guys, but he's shaking hands with them. So that's a bit of news that's happening right now, according to the Senzo Mayua case, which is mm. an ongoing case and will continue to be ongoing for quite some time. Yeah, but in, in that space, we can't really say we, we should know how he operates because he's probably scared for his life at the end of the day, but he probably has to create. That's the code. Maybe that's the Nkabi code. Yeah. There's a Nkabi movie actually on Netflix. Trash. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't recommend it. What I wasted it my time. Inkabi. Oh, Inkabi. It's yo, bro. They trying too hard, man. Okay. Sorry to the guys so that authentic. worked on it. For me, no. It's yeah. lacking quite a lot. I know there was some research that was done, but there's a lot more details that you're missing out on. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check it out and see if it does anything for me. I know that the topic of Inkabi and Amapi. Uh, yeah. A lot of people are like into it, dressing like them. I mean, mm, obviously mm. dressing like them, but not really being like the shooters in Kabi, like. So the show is about the, the real. It, it's about that. It's man. I don't know, man. Like they have the greatest access. Doubt, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. But I just think the story and how it was put together. Uh, it's giving 
Mzansi, uh, not even magic. Mzansi magic has Iwo Stella, which was a rounding Gabi. Amazing show. Yeah. One of the best shows to come yeah, out of Mzansi, okay, okay. right? But that one, I think they should have partnered up with whoever uh, worked on the production for that, for, for Iwo Stella. In Kabi, that is on Netflix, as you say. Yeah. For those who want to check it out. I mean, it's not getting a positive review. <laughs> On here. There's also some conspiracy theories that have been happening. Two things. Right. Um, oh, Kate is missing. Yeah, uh, Kate Mid- not Middleton. Uh, yes, yes. I, I think it's Kate Middleton. And apparently, yeah, Matusa Cape Royal Town uh, from the? The royal family. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she, she's missing. They haven't seen her. And Iloyayake Iti, he's going to declare her dead. If, if, if she doesn't see her in the next coming week or so. To come home or what? Or anyway. She's just disappeared. Yeah. She's disappeared. I'm a man, she's in Cape Town. I believe it's lies. But her, if she's disappeared, doesn't she have always have it, people around her? You should. Or maybe she ran away from that life. It was just too much. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah. anyway. Yeah. What's but Chris thing? Excel what? would know. What's, yeah, he would know. What's the other thing you were mentioning? <laughs> the other thing is the um, French, pr- French president, President Emmanuel uh, Macron. Yes. Um, apparently, he's married to, to a man. The wife is believed to be a man. That switched roles uh, I don't know at what age, Did but he's know? he's like thirty years. She he he's like thirty years. No, she's like thirty years older than him. Yeah, already that's a red red because buddy they met they met in primary school when he was still young. They had a thing going on. So she was a lady or does a man? It's a made up story. That what that, that you go to? She was a teacher. No, it's not like that. It's it's all a conspiracy around the Illuminati, why he's in power, who he had to date, and all those kind of things. Oh, Apparently, the guy is is a Rothschild, from from what I'm hearing. And there's also baby pictures of Bridget Bridget Macron. That's that's the wife. Yes, yeah. And uh, he was born when he was born. He was named uh, John Michael, Jen Michael. Is it John Jean? This is Ooh, Jean, Jean, Jean Michael. This is big news. I mean, this is massive news, bro. Wait, yeah, who's your source, bro? Uh, it's all over. So, um, oh, Curtis, you know, Curtis, he's in film. He was telling yeah. me about this. Then I did some digging and I'm seeing it all over, actually. That is crazy. It is all over the French news. If you were to check there, just check online, just type in his name, you'll see quite a lot. That is so crazy. Yo. Oh, and this yeah. comes after that John Cena thing where he walked onto stage naked. I yeah, that one was a bit shaky. That one it should have never happened. But mm. anyway, I go ning him, and I go ning, I go ning. I hope you you are several zoom and fit. Yeah, me, 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 I'm me. Oh, well, it's me. not Illuminati. No, there's no. I loom, I loom ledge. Okay, Illuminati, Illuminati. Illuminati, I loom, I loom. Yeah, no, 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 no. We don't delve do into that one. Uh, but I think that's everything for the week in PGM. I mean, we're going to call it a week. Make sure that you guys check out www.colorspace.co.za and make sure that you make check out www.brandwatch.com. That, those are our sponsors. And of course, if you want to be a sponsor, come on to the show. I mean, don't be shy. We've had sponsors before and we look forward to having you guys as sponsors. This I have a challenge for you before we end the Zooms, but yes. I think finish off first. I just I'm wanted done. to say that I'm done. before you think you're off the hook. Yeah. I'm challenging you for a run this week. I mean, I'm going to be at golf on Thursday and, fr- and Saturday. I'm I, walking 10 kilometers each day. No, I'm saying I'm challenging you to a run. I didn't ask go to Uyenzani. Ah, yeah, you yeah. understand? I'm going to be too tired to walk my, my golf. Game. You can't be tired on Wednesday because your golf is on Thursday it is. and Friday. Ah, that's worse. Yeah, that's worse. <laughs> but I can commit to like a, a, a light jog. You know? I, I did walk this morning. So yeah. I did a two kilometer walk this morning just nice. around the place. Nice. So yeah, I can run. No, and let's do a run and shed. I want you to to post that video to wake up. What, what do you say? Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> the neighborhood misses you, man. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. That's a challenge for me this week. I will put in a run. But from Um Shooty, Oba Shooty, this is Spaza Talk. I will check you guys next week. Peace. And your boy, Labo Khan. Ciao. Introducing Color Space, a stock photo platform dedicated to showcasing images of black people. Whether you're a professional photographer or you just know your way around a smartphone, sign up, submit your photos, and start earning through your creativity. Visit www.colorspace.co.za.